This is the longest, these two will be the longest runs. So this one here will be matched up with one of the shortest runs over here. So this wire, so basically I'll take one of these guys and cut it so that this end will be 68 feet long and this end will be 32 feet long. And that way the short piece will go here and the long piece will go all the way across to here. And we'll just sort of match them all up that way. All right, let's get started. This is the first row, bank A, and this is the positive lead. And I'm putting the red tape on here, and I got the white tape on the negative. Okay, so now I gotta lay out my PV cable. I got a measuring tape across the yard here. I'm gonna roll these out and cut them to length. There's 56. And that'll be the 44 cables here. So you can move stuff around. I use these buckets and then so you can turn the corner without any kinks. And they'll go right up on the roof from got here. All the panels up there mounted. I got the wires all come out on this end and right now they're just running over the side of the garage. I want to be between this rail and this rail. About there. And then I can attach nicely to this rafter, curve down through here, and get over to that conduit there. It takes me into the power wall. A hole from the inside of the attic. And I'm a little worried about hitting the rafter with this wide thing, so I'm going to cheat over just a little bit and down a little bit so I don't go into that next bunch right there. Okay, back in the attic, got our hole in the roof, some conduit, I'm gonna screw this down here and probably here, I don't know how high that's gonna go yet, here, or like that, oh, I can clamp it there too. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off, take this off, take this out, cut it about right here. Put this on before I put the pipe in. Put this on, then put the pipe in. Now let's do that. Just cutting this out a little bit. Okay, so next, I gotta get this all straightened out, put this un under the panel, tie it up and have it neatly come through and go down. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put on the grounding lugs. So just drop them in the rail, and tighten these up. Yeah, except I wanna put it up under here. Getting a little closer, still trying to get some of the slack out of a couple of these. So now I got all my wires pulled up tight here, like so. I looked up under here, shouldn't be any wires touching the roof, and the cover just goes on like this. See? We'll just snap it in place. There we go. So everything's good to go. Just need a little caulk up here. All right, so I think the only thing left to do up here is to cut these all off, these extra rail. Cut them back to about here, and this should all be done. All right, so here's the inside. 
comes down through the conduit. And right now I just got a whole bunch of wires dangling around in here. So from here, I'm going to take the ends and stuff them out through these two conduits and that takes me out to my combiner box. Here. It's the row two. This is the bottom row on the roof. Two combiner boxes on the other side of this wall. And then when they get combined they come back in and go up to the two charge controllers. So next I gotta get outside and cut those off and wire. Here. So I got six wires, right? Uh -huh. Three of them are grounds and three of them are hot. Okay. The three grounds will go one, two, three on this bus bar. Okay. And the three hots will go one, two, three on these breakers. Oh. When you turn the breakers all on, see how they're all combined across this plate? Yeah. To this one line, this is the hot. See, and then this is the combined ground. Yeah. Combined hot and then this ground all run inside to that charge controller. So when they're coming in, they're separate power off of those three separate um, groups that we made. Yeah. But once they get to this, they get combined into just one set of power okay. that comes in through these three lines right here. Right. One A negative. So it's got to come up here and go into here. Here it goes. Plus these are, I mean, we're, it's four o'clock and we're in the shade, but there's probably a little power on here. Let's see. Oh yeah. All right, we'll start with 30 pounds. Put a little white tape on each end. Okay. It's all wired up. Got all my negatives here, positives going into the breakers, combine positive out, and combine negative out. So I'm working on it at night, so there won't be any power on here. There's still some voltage, but I don't think there's going to be much current available. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. It's all done except for the ground wires. So, um, let's take a look. The sun is really far down now. 15, 20, look at it dropping, it's getting darker and darker. So it's morning now, about 10 a.m. or so, got some sun coming in, it's probably 50 degrees, let's see what kind of voltages we All get. Right, so this is the upper row of panels, and we have 175 volts, 174.8, 174.1. All right, so pretty good voltages. All right, so that does it for the wiring to the combiner boxes, and pretty much everything is ready to go now. So in the next one, we're going to go ahead and start throwing some switches and see if this thing works. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.